group is a selection of contacts with something in common, such as contacts who work together on a specific project, or those who work in a similar field. If you regularly look up contacts that share a common characteristic, you may want to create a group for them so that you can more efficiently work with those contacts. The way to start is to click the Groups button in the left navigation. This is the Groups view, and it contains three parts. On the left is the Tree view, which lists all the groups, as well as any group hierarchies that you want to create to better organize your groups of contacts. The upper half of the right side includes the group name and group description. Below that are the tabs for the groups. Here you can add or remove contacts, view activities or opportunities, or other relevant information. The Group Access tab also allows you to restrict access to the group as necessary. You can add contacts to the group by clicking the Add Remove Contacts button. Here you can add or remove contacts statically or dynamically. To add a contact to the group manually, click the Contacts button and then choose which contacts you want to add to the group. To add contacts dynamically, click the Edit Criteria button and then use the Query tool to define conditions to add contacts to this group. If you'd like to create a similar group that has minor differences, you can duplicate a group. For example, I have a group called Scottsdale Business Owners, and maybe I want to create one just like it, but for Phoenix. To do this, highlight the group, and then from the Groups menu, choose Duplicate. From here, I can determine how much data to copy to the new group. After renaming the group, all I need to do is change the criteria so that it points to Phoenix instead of Scottsdale. To delete a group or to promote and demote groups within the hierarchical tree, right-click the group and then select either Delete or Move. So with the use of groups, you can now collect multiple contacts into a single group.